everyone. So it is 8.30 um, on Saturday. I just got back from Franklin. So Ashley, Justin, and I went to Georgia this weekend. We went to Carrollton. That's where they both went to school last year and for the past couple years, I believe. Um, it was awesome. So we left Thursday right after I got off work, which is like four. I think we were on the road at five o'clock. So we got to town, dropped Justin's dog off at the apartment, and then we went out to the bars and just hung out, you know, had fun, whatever. We were out until probably like one or two o'clock, and then we got back, went swimming, and then we went to the Waffle House, um, got breakfast, you know, whatever, and then I was up until like six o'clock that night, I think, and then the next day was the Braves game, the Atlanta Braves game. I'd never been to that game, that type of game before. Okay, so Justin's in a fraternity. Um, Ashley's in a sorority too, but we didn't, you know, get to see her sorority. So we went to the fraternity house at like 1.30, no, it was more like 2 probably. And then we were on the road by 3 o'clock to go to Atlanta for the game. So we did that, we got there, we just hung out, there was cornhole, everyone was drinking, was having a good time, having fun. And then the game started at like 7.30 I believe. So our tickets were like a dollar, I mean you can't beat that. So we got into the game for a dollar, and then, oh my gosh, it was so hot though, you guys. It was so, so incredibly hot. Um, we stayed for the whole game. The Braves won. It was the Braves versus the Chicago Cubs. So one of uh, the brothers was explaining it to me, uh, because I don't, I don't watch sports a lot. I don't follow them. I don't know all the rules, you know. And so at the entire time, I was like, what does that mean? What does that mean? What was that? What just happened? What did, how, explain it all to me. And he was like, okay, okay. But so, yeah, so I had someone explain to me the game. It was so much fun, though. Um, there are probably, I think Justin was saying that there's supposed to be like 20 of the brothers showing up, and then there's supposed to be, it's supposed to be like a rush event. So there's supposed to be potentials there, and like, I learned all of this, like, sorority fraternity lingo, because Ashley and Justin talk about it, you know, and I don't ever know what they're talking about. So I'm like, let me just go get a dictionary real quick or go take some notes real quick. But no, they explained all this stuff to me and I finally, you know, got to put a bunch of names to the faces that they've been talking about and meet, you know, a bunch of their friends from back home. It was a completely different experience because I didn't go to college. Like, I'm not in college. So, I mean, I've been to parties at like Michigan State University before, but that was for like, well, I mean, okay, it was for a weekend and this was only for a weekend, but the, the environment's completely different. Like, Carrollton is literally a college town. Like, everybody, they were telling me all this, like, how everybody on Thursday nights goes out. Uh, you know, Saturday nights are big nights, and sometimes during the summer, Tuesdays are, you know, big nights to go out. So, I got to meet a lot of cool people. All the brothers were so freaking sweet, my goodness. Um, I only really hung out with a select few of them, but they were so freaking nice. And it's so cool because I was telling them how, like, people back home, I don't, I, this is the first time I've really been exposed to like the Greek life. So back home, I feel like a lot of people are just like, "Oh, you just basically pay to make friends and to party." And essentially, yes, but it's so much more here. Like the values are so much more important and more prevalent. And the like the guys, like I don't know if it's I was talking to Justin. I don't know if it's just a Southern gentleman thing or like the morals they like teach you but they like they open doors they like give you their hand when you're like getting out of the truck like oh my gosh it's it's just completely different like up north I don't like okay the stigma down here is if you're from up north you're rude that's just how it is everyone assumes that because I'm from Michigan like I don't want to say they assume I'm rude but they're like oh so it is really different down here it is like you know yada 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 and it is I don't, you know, I, I love Michigan and I love being, I loved being up north, but it's completely different. People down here are 100% different. It's like a 180, you know, like I, I'm not going to say people from up north are rude, but down here there is a southern gentleman kind of thing going on and like the southern hospitality and all that, that's a real thing. It's like, and I wish I brought my camera with me this week and I like charged it all up. I deleted like everything off the memory card because I was like, oh, you know, I'm going to be filming a lot. I'll film the Braves game. I'll film like... The ride down there, some of the ride back. I was the only one there that wasn't in Greek life, so I thought it would be really weird, but no, everyone was really awesome. We're all just hanging out, um, 
And then we went to this place called the Squire Shop. I spent $60 on two shirts and like a Lily Pulitzer cup. I don't know if any of you guys know what that is, probably. So we got back, he went to work. Ashley and I went to Chili's for dinner and then went downtown Franklin. And I spent, I wasn't that much money, but I only got one tank top. But like, <laughs> I was joking around with Ashley. I was like, you're making me blow all my money. You're such a bad influence on my bank account right now because usually I'm such a bargain shopper. Like, you know, if a tank top or like shorts or like if I spend more than like $15 on an outfit, I'm like, eh, it's not really worth it. And here I am spending like $60 on like two shirts and a cup or like $30 on a tank top. Like, I don't know. But no, it's totally worth it. Some people back home, I think, are going to be like, you know, it's just, it was just a weekend. Like it was in a college town. It's not that big of a deal. But it was so cool. It was my first like real college experience. I got to meet all these people who were so sweet. I, we had so much fun. Like the, the bars had, you know, good music playing. Everyone was dancing, just drinking, having a really good time. And like the Braves game. Like I said, I didn't know what time that was going on. But we were just sitting there, hanging out, hoping to go back with them. And they're going back in September. I think that's eight, when the 801 is, which is just like a big party in the Greek village. I think, if I remember correctly. Anyway, Ashley and Justin and I had so much fun on the road trip, um, you know, there and on the way back, and just hanging out down there. Like, it was for sure a different experience, but it kind of makes me feel like I missed out on like the whole college experience. You know, and I can still go. I just, you know, universities are so much money and I don't want to live in the dorms. And I feel like it's not worth it if you don't live in the dorms. So, I don't know. But yeah, that was our weekend. We had tons of fun. Stick around, see what's going on, and I'll see you guys next time.